From the jaw-dropping Three Gorges Dam to the sheer might of the Hoover Dam, the biggest dams on the planet are engineering marvels that have changed the world around them. These dams aren't just structures, they're forces of nature. Their construction has reshaped landscapes, transformed economies, and even altered the flow of rivers. These structures stand as testaments to human ingenuity and ambition. So, join us as we go behind the scenes of the top 10 most impressive dams on the planet. You wouldn't want to miss out on number one. Trust me, you'll never look at dams the same way again. The 10th biggest dam in the world is Kariba Dam, Zambia and Zimbabwe. Towering at 128 meters and stretching 579 meters, connecting Zambia and Zimbabwe across the Zambezi, this engineering marvel creates the vast Lake Kariba, spanning 280 kilometers and holding a staggering 185 cubic kilometers of water. Back in 1959, the government of the Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland commissioned the construction of this double-curvature concrete arch dam. Crafted by Coin e Bellier and built by Impreset of Italy, the initial stage, the Cariba South Power Cavern, cost $135 million. However, political hurdles delayed the final construction, led by Mitchell Construction, until 1977, accumulating a total cost of $480 million and sadly claiming the lives of 86 construction workers. Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, officially inaugurated the dam on May 17, 1960, marking a historic moment. Today, the Kariba Dam is a powerhouse, generating 2,010 megawatts of electricity for Zambia's Copper Belt and Zimbabwe. The dam's dual power stations on the north and south banks contribute to a combined 6,400 gigawatt hours annually. Coming in at number nine is the Grand Coulee Dam in the USA. Back in the 1920s, the people of Washington state debated how to water the region, and after lots of discussions and reports, they finally started building dams. The first was the Rock Island Dam in 1930. The big push came with the 308 report in 1932, suggesting a series of dams along the Columbia. President Franklin D. Roosevelt backed this plan during the Great Depression, leading to the Bonneville Dam in 1938 and the Grand Coulee in 1942. The Grand Coulee Dam stands tall on the Columbia River in Washington State, USA. It's not as tall as the famous Hoover Dam, but it's way wider, almost a whole mile. Built in the 1930s and 1940s, it was a massive project during the Great Depression. Back then, the Grand Coulee Dam was the biggest concrete dam ever made. While China's Three Gorges Dam is larger now, the Grand Coulee is still a marvel and a cool spot for tourists. Number eight on our list is the Guri Dam, Venezuela. Constructed between 1963 and 1969, this dam is quite an engineering marvel. It is a massive wall made of concrete and earth, stretching a whopping 7,426 meters and towering 162 meters high. It's like a giant barrier holding back the waters of the Caroni River. What makes the Guri Dam even more impressive is the vast Guri Reservoir it creates, covering an area as big as 4,250 square kilometers. That's like having an enormous water playground. The dam's purpose is to store and control water, but it also does something even cooler. It generates electricity. The power station connected to the dam is like a huge generator, turning the force of flowing water into electricity. At one point, it was the biggest of its kind globally, beating even the Grand Coulee hydropower plant. However, as time went on, Brazil's Itaipu Dam took the lead. So, the Guri Dam not only tames rivers and forms massive lakes, but also powers up homes and cities with its hydroelectric magic. Quite an impressive feat, isn't it? Number seven is even more impressive. Meet the Tarbella Dam. The Tarbella Dam is a crucial part of the Indus Basin project, born from a water treaty signed in 1960 between India and Pakistan. This agreement ensured that Pakistan would have a reliable water supply, 
free from India's upstream control. The dam, finished in 1977, was mainly designed for storing water, not producing power. The beautiful turquoise waters south of the dam reflect the high amount of silt and clay in the released water. The dam is the world's largest earth and rock-filled dam, towering 147 meters above the Indus riverbed, with a massive volume of 142 million cubic meters. Its reservoir covers 37 square kilometers. While the dam successfully stores water for Pakistan's agriculture, it has unintended consequences for the environment. The reduction of seasonal flooding and diminished water flow to the delta has led to a decline in mangrove stands and affected the abundance of certain fish species in the Indus River Delta. The story of Tarbella Dam highlights the delicate balance between meeting human needs and preserving natural ecosystems. The Sayano Shushinskaya Dam in Russia takes the sixth spot. Constructed in 1985, the Sayano Shushinskaya Dam is an impressive piece of engineering situated in the Sayan Mountains. Standing at a height of 242 meters, it ranks as the 17th tallest dam globally. This monumental structure spans a picturesque canyon carved by the mighty Yenisei River, surrounded by a lush forest. Adding to its grandeur, the hydropower station associated with the dam is the world's ninth largest in terms of production capacity. The dam area features six striking bronze figures, paying homage to the skilled individuals who contributed to its construction. Positioned around 500 meters from the dam, these figures offer a prime spot for observation. On the opposite side of the river, a massive water discharge facility is ingeniously integrated into the rock. Notably, the dam underwent extensive reconstruction following a tragic event in 2009. A turbine breakdown led to a catastrophe, claiming the lives of 75 people who were unfortunately trapped in the flooded machine hall. Despite this challenging history, the Sayano Shushinskaya Dam stands today as a testament to resilience and engineering prowess. Taking the spot at number five is the Grand Dissens Dam in Switzerland. Standing proudly as the tallest gravity dam globally, reaching a soaring height of 285 meters and spanning 700 meters in length, the Grand Dissens Dam is a true marvel. Its foundation, a robust concrete structure, widens to 200 meters at the base and narrows to a precise 15 meters at the crest, situated at an elevation of 2,365 meters. Impressively, the dam's formidable structure incorporates a staggering 6 million cubic meters of concrete, firmly anchored to the underlying foundation by a grout curtain descending to a depth of 200 meters and extending 100 meters on either side of the valley. While strategically located on the descents, the dam ingeniously taps into water sources from the Zamut, Stafel, Ferpekel, and Arala pumping stations, orchestrating the transport of water through a network of tunnels spanning 100 kilometers into Lac de Dies. Further contributing to its hydraulic prowess, water from the Cluzon Dam, a substantial 87 meters in height, is conveyed from the Lac de Cluzon, enriching the complex's resource portfolio. The intricate web of three penstocks seamlessly channels water from Lac de Dis to power stations like Chandelin, Fione, Nendas, and Budron before gracefully joining the Rhone downstream. This collective marvel of pumping stations, power stations, and dams forms a hydrological symphony, orchestrating the flow of water through various reservoirs called the Cluzon Dissens Complex. Notably, the Cluzon Dissens Complex, despite its habit of water transfer mechanisms, diverges from the conventional definition of a pumped storage scheme. A fascinating aspect of this engineering feat lies in its reliance on water primarily sourced from melting glaciers during the summer months. The lake, reaching its zenith in late September, undergoes a clinical rhythm, gradually emptying throughout the winter and reaching its lowest point around April. In addition to being the unrivaled tallest gravity dam globally, the Grand Dissens Dam boasts the title of the seventh tallest dam overall and stands as the loftiest dam in Europe. Moving over to number four, we have the Ziluodu Dam, China. 
This dam stands proudly as a colossal double curvature arch dam, reaching a height of 285.5 meters and stretching across 700 meters. At the heart of the Jinsha River project, it holds a vast reservoir of 12.67 billion cubic meters, with 6.46 billion cubic meters dedicated to active storage for power generation. The dam boasts a sophisticated design featuring seven surface outlets, eight mid-level orifices, and four spillway tunnels, all capable of an impressive maximum discharge of 32,278 cubic meters per second. Nestled within its structure are two underground power stations strategically placed behind the right and left abutments, each housing nine 770-megawatt Francis turbine generators. The engineering marvel yields a total installed capacity of 13,860 megawatts. Beyond its remarkable power generation capabilities, the Ziluodu serves vital roles in flood control and silt management. Its regulated water releases also contribute to enhancing downstream navigation. The construction of Ziluodu began in 2005, culminating in the commissioning of the first generator in 2013 and the final one in 2014. Operated by China Yangtze Power, this marvel of engineering currently holds the prestigious titles of the fourth largest power station and the fifth tallest dam globally, making it a beacon of technological prowess and environmental stewardship. At number three is the Itaipu Dam, Brazil and Paraguay. The Itaipu Hydroelectric Dam is positioned on the Paraná River, straddling the border of Brazil and Paraguay stretching across 7.9 kilometers and soaring to a towering height of 196 meters. This monumental structure harnesses the previously untapped energy potential of the Paraná River. Amidst the land disputes in the 1960s, both Brazil and Paraguay recognized the promise held by the river. The Act of Iguazu in 1966 and the Treaty of Itaipu in 1973 paved the way for a remarkable joint venture. Itaipu Binacional, a collaborative venture between Brazil and Paraguay, was established to construct and manage the dam, with shared responsibilities for costs and benefits. The construction kicked off in February 1971, culminating in a project that carried a price tag of $17.6 billion upon its operational debut in 1984. Today, with its 20 generating units boasting a capacity of 700 megawatts each, Itaipu stands as the world's largest operational hydroelectric energy producer. In 2018, the energy generated played a pivotal role, supplying nearly 90% of Paraguay's electricity and approximately 15% of Brazil's. Notably, 85% of the energy produced caters to Brazil's needs. While both nations share equal rights to the dam's production, Paraguay, utilizing only 15% of its share, is obligated to sell the surplus to Brazil, with 70% of the proceeds covering construction financing. Number two on our list is the Jinping One Dam, China. Positioned on the Jinping Bend of the Yalong River in Liangshan, Sichuan, China, this tall arch dam, the world's tallest at 305 meters, began its construction journey in 2005, reaching completion in 2014. A powerhouse accompanies the dam, boasting a robust 3,600 megawatt capacity. Annually, it churns out an impressive 16 to 18 billion kilowatt hours of electricity. Fueling this powerhouse is a reservoir formed by the towering Arch Dam. Beyond its structural might, the Jinping One Dam serves crucial purposes. It plays a pivotal role in meeting the energy demands of a growing industrial and urban landscape. Additionally, the dam enhances flood protection measures, shielding communities from potential disasters. Moreover, it contributes to erosion prevention, ensuring the longevity and stability of the surrounding environment. In essence, the Jinping One Dam stands not just as a marvel of engineering, but as a cornerstone for sustainable development and environmental resilience. Now, guess the number one biggest dam in the world. Did you think of the Three Gorges Dam? Then you are correct. The Three Gorges Dam, situated in Hubei Province, China, stands as the world's largest hydroelectricity dam, an engineering marvel across the mighty Yangtze River. 
stretching over 2.3 kilometers and soaring to a height of 181 meters. It boasts a capacity of over 10 trillion gallons of water. Initiated in late 1994, the dam's completion unfolded in stages, culminating in the installation of the final generator in 2012. The colossal facility incorporates 32 main water turbines strategically distributed on the north and south sides with an additional underground component generating an impressive 22,500 megawatts, surpassing even the renowned Itaipu Dam. The Three Gorges Dam is a pivotal contributor to China's electricity grid. In 2020, an exceptional monsoon season led to a record-breaking annual production of 111.8 terawatt-hours, solidifying its status as a power generation powerhouse. While critics question the dam's hefty construction costs, estimated to exceed the official figure of $23 billion, and express concerns about potential seismic risks, its environmental impact is noteworthy. In a nation heavily reliant on fossil fuels, the dam's contribution of approximately 1.43% of China's electricity generation holds promise for environmental benefits. Despite controversies and challenges, including decreased forest cover during construction, ongoing reforestation efforts demonstrate a commitment to mitigating environmental repercussions. In our previous video, we talked about the most useless megaprojects in the world and how they have affected us as individuals. Be sure to click the video you see on the screen right now to check out this masterpiece.